What is up, Guardians of Destiny, Guardians of the Light? It is me, I'm everybody here, and I want to talk about a scout rifle that has kind of brought me back into the scout rifle family, uh, mostly in PvP, not PvE, but we'll get that into a second. It is the Scholar. Now, mine happens to be a depth version. This applies to both guns. Both the stats are exactly the same, the abilities are the same. The only difference between them is the void ability when you get an adept version from that mercury chest now going through the perks uh it is you know the standard optics on it you got the red dot the focus lens and the focus lens uh long range so you got mid and long range and short on it uh short short range isn't this uh weapon's cup of tea anyway um but some notable perks after those is the outlaw perk which is your next tier precision kills up the reload speed uh the next couple tiers you got senate and perfect balance that's pretty good the custom optics is not i'm not a fan of it and then your last perk is reactive reload which you, after you get a kill and you reload it you get a bonus damage for a short time now um I say this gun isn't a PvE weapon. I'm not saying it's not good in PvE. It's like a semi-automatic sniper rifle when you pop a low-level enemy in the head. I'm not gonna talk numbers about it in PvE because you know that scales to uh, higher enemies and stuff like that to lower enemies. It's not always the same. But I'm, yeah, there's a lot better guns to use in PvE. There's there's better void weapons and stuff like that to use in PvE. PvP though, on the other hand, now. It's a very, very good gun. We're doing 49 to the body, 73 to the head, averaging about four hits on a character or on, a, on an opponent, and it's going to be over. So it's got a low rate, high impact, um, but it's also mid-range. If it's a small map, I don't suggest this weapon. Anything mid-range to long range, this is, this is your weapon to go with. Like I said, four shots... Um, you can maybe pull off this, the close range, but with the low rate of fire, everything else is just going to chew you up. And it's actually more stable than it looks. Now, I haven't upgraded mine completely fully, but once I get it there, I'll definitely you know, check back in with everybody and maybe in a different video. But it, it's, it's definitely the weapon to, to use in PvP. Uh, as far as using it for Trials of Osiris, uh, I'm still using Red Death and then switching over to Galahorn. But... In regular PvP and probably in the upcoming Iron Banner, I probably will be using this weapon for sure. This is a PvP gun, not a PvE gun. Uh, very well. It is the semi-automatic sniper rifle for PvP. <laughs> if you guys like the video, like, share, and subscribe. More content coming soon every single day. This has been Maverick Buddy, and I am out.